Both players are opting to use a shinier surface ball. Little left hook. Trying to go a little more direct at that track area. Track area between the second and third arrow. And she hit right over the third arrow. And she didn't break up the 310 as we've seen her do so many times tonight. Well, it's been ages since she left to split in the 310. You're right. So as tight as the lanes are, it's probably not as difficult as it would normally be. She didn't get the ball far enough to the right here, and the ball went to the left. And uh, once again, she just didn't break it up. We've seen her do. Trying to fit it inside. Line past the three for the first opening in the championship game in the sixth frame for Michelle Moore. Lots of fans in the background are yelling, shake it off, Michelle, as the hometown favorite. Robin Romeo now up by 10 pins. a nice shot there by Michelle. Well, I'll tell you what I like, the fact that she got right up and do what she wanted to do with the shot and made an aggressive shot and hit the pocket rather than standing around wondering what you're going to try and accomplish. She really is putting on a good show here tonight, Danny. Making the shot really when she's needed. Him. Oh, if I say that, I thought I might have jinxed her there. <laughs> Never a doubt, you say. So a 10 pin lead now for Robin Romeo as she steps up in the seventh frame. And don't forget, immediately following the Seagram's Coolers U.S. Open, Sports Center, Bob Lee and Dan Patrick with all the latest scores in the NBA playoffs and Major League Baseball. Better shot there. Right around the 11 12 board, very direct towards the pocket. Thing of beauty last night in the position round game. She's had a big 250 game to nail down the top spot. You can see here right the liner ball takes. Just around the 11, 12 board in the ball stays. She gets the wall shot. A super shot there, very aggressive. She went wide last time on lane 25. This time she made sure she got it up for the head pin. She did it with a lot of speed. And you can see the pressure now on Michelle Mullen, who won three games via the spare basically and now she finds herself 22 pins down and she's got to throw some strikes the pressure building and lane 26 being the lane that she keeps going high Danny she had to go right with it she did and the results will be missing the head pin here hangs in with the spare it's just 202 if she would strike out now Robin did up that Michelle finishes on lane 26. It's the lane she has not been hitting. Lane 25, lane she has struck on quite a bit. And I'm looking for that foundation strike right here. I'll buy the head pin one more time, and uh, with each frame without a strike. Robin Romeo moving a step closer to her first major championship. And with a lot of tournaments left to go, if she wins here tonight, she could bypass Lisa's record from last year. Yeah, Lisa Wagner becoming the first woman ever to win over $100,000 in a season, but uh, for Robin Romeo, she would go to $73,950. And uh, we're not even done with this segment yet. With 16 events left in 1989. If it didn't have 40,000 on top in this one, it'd be a hard, hard road to get to 100,000. Keep in mind, Lisa Wagner won this event last year in Winston-Salem. Vaulted her to the greatest year a woman's ever had bowling. Trying to keep the pressure on right there, getting a little bit right again. Touching that out-of-bounds area. 
Second time she has left the 128, but uh, the last version was on lane 25. Not really hurting her too much. She can convert this spare. And she leads by 22 pins. Well, the key situation now, the best Michelle Mullen could do would be 189, and so that kind of sets the table for Robin Romeo. Robin Romeo just needing count on this ball. She needed count on that ball. A spare, and she locks up the U.S. Open Championship. A miss, and Michelle Mullen can still strike out and win. Probably her toughest spare conversion of her career, and oh my gosh. She chops it off, and all of the sudden, it turns completely in the favor of Michelle Mullen with two strikes and nine. She could win the championship. 187 for Robin Romeo, who will live a long time and remember that shot if Michelle Mullen doubles up here in the 10th. Well, we saw things go her way last week in Hyattsville, Maryland. This is not Michelle's good lane, but we saw her strike when she needed it last time. Get to the head. 